Hello, dear students. Very happy to see you all again in this online learning. I have planned to start the basic chemistry from the standard level for your better understanding. And today we are going to discuss about the most stunning and beautiful branch of chemistry, the organic chemistry, which deals about the organic compounds, that is the carbon compounds containing covalent bonds. In that, we are going to discuss about the organic reaction mechanism, which is the beautiful thing in organic chemistry. What is the purpose of studying organic mechanism? So, we should know that by knowing the organic mechanism, it is possible for us to direct the reaction in specific pathway or desired pathway. Organic reactions may proceed in multiple pathways sometime. If we know the mechanisms of all the pathways, it is possible for us to direct the reaction in the desired pathway. And it is possible for us to reduce the reaction time. Some reactions happen in very longer duration and the mechanism helps us to reduce the time taken for the reaction to complete in the next course. And we can reduce the energy required for the reaction to take place. Ultimately, the cost of the products is also reduced. We will increase the amount of desired products as well as we can decrease the amount of undesired byproducts. So, these many good things are taken from the organic reaction mechanisms. For the better understanding of organic mechanisms, we should know the basic organic reaction and the basic concepts involved in that. Now we are going to deal about or discuss about the organic reaction. What is an organic reaction? In general, we all aware that chemical reaction is nothing but breaking of the old bonds or the existing bonds and formation of new bonds. Here in organic reactions, it is nothing but breaking of the existing covalent bonds in the organic compounds that is carbon containing compounds and formation of new covalent bonds. So, this basic structure in which the reaction is going to happen or the chemical change takes place is called substrate or reactant molecule. Who is going to bring about the change in the substrate? It is the reagent or the attacking agent which brings about the chemical change in the substrate. Who are all the reagents or attacking agents? They are nothing but organic molecules, inorganic molecules and other agents like heat, light and ultrasound. So, these are the agents which brings about the changes in the substrate. How the reaction proceeds? Is there formation of products directly or something in between them? The reaction usually proceeds via transition state with or without intermediates depending upon the nature of the reaction. So, these intermediates or transition states are collectively called as transitory intermediates and they are the high energy unstable species. Hence, they are also known as reactive intermediates. So, with this, we are now going to discuss about the transition states and the intermediates in a simple manner. For our convenience, we are just going to classify the organic reactions into two as concerted reaction and non-concerted reaction based on the number of steps involved in the particular reaction. And to get the idea about intermediates and transition state, it is necessary to discuss about the concerted reaction and non-concerted reaction. Here, we are going to discuss about the reaction between methyl bromide and cyanide anion. So, the cyanide anion is going to attack the methyl bromide. So, this is the cyanide anion and this cyanide anion attacks from the opposite side of bromide atom and it leads to the formation of a hypothetical state with high energy and very poor stability and we can say that unstable species. 
so this is the five membered the pentavalent carbon here is highly unstable and this state is called a transition state so is it possible to stop the reaction at this stage no we cannot stop any organic reaction at the transition state stage and the reaction proceeds further and compounds are formed like this so methyl cyanide plus bromide ion so what is transition state then so this is a hypothetical state and it is very much higher in energy and highly unstable we cannot isolate the transition state formed in the reaction so not isolable so the transition state formed in any organic reaction is not isolable and we cannot stop the reaction at this stage the reaction proceeds further and produce the desired product so this is a little thing about transition state now we are going to see about the reaction which is happening in multiple steps here you can see the image for a concerted reaction the methyl bromide is being attacked by the cyanide so the attack of cyanide and breaking of bromine bond are taking place simultaneously that is the bond formation and bond breaking takes place simultaneously thus we are considering this as one step single step reaction if this transition state is isolable then we can say this is multiple step reaction but this is not a isolable state and it is highly hypothetical and this is not considered as a true species so hence the reaction is proceeding in only one step hence it is called concerted reaction now you can see a non concerted reaction in which the bond between carbon and the attached halogen atom is getting broken and leads to the formation of a carbocation so this non concerted reactions are taking place in multiple steps now we are going to write the step 1 where the tertiary butyl chloride is getting broken down into or ionized into tertiary butyl carbocation and the reaction is very slow and it is also reversible since the species formed the carbocation formed is highly unstable and highly energetic and it will revert back to the original substrate what we had taken and the step 2 is since the carbocation formed is highly unstable it is ready to react with the reagent present in the environment say example if you going to add water then the reaction proceeds to the formation of tertiary butanol like this oh2 plus and deprotonation of this particular molecule leads to the formation of tertiary butyl alcohol or tertiary butanol here since this substance carbocation is highly unstable and this reaction is very much faster so this is the slowest step the formation of carbocation and this is called as intermediate what is the difference between intermediate and transition states sir this is the common question arises in between the among the students and intermediates are nothing but they are true species they are highly reactive they are rich in energy also that is high energy and poor stability but it is possible to isolate we can isolate or we can trap the intermediate using some other reagent okay so now the intermediate being a highly unstable species it reacts very much faster with the available reagent in the nearby environment hence this reaction is considered as fast here you have to note down one thing 
the slowest step mentioned in any reaction is the rate determining step that is the rate of the reaction is determined by the slowest step in the organic reaction or any reaction so here the first step the formation of carbocation intermediate is the slowest and rate determining step so this is how the transition state is different from the intermediate so transition state is a hypothetical state but here the intermediate is a true species we cannot isolate the transition state we can isolate or trap the intermediate both are rich in energy and both are unstable leads to the formation of product but comparatively intermediate are little stable than transition state so here the reaction takes place in two steps hence it is called non concerted reaction here you can see in non concerted reaction there is a formation of intermediate and so is there only formation of intermediate or is there any transition state involved that is the question arises normally so in any type of non concerted reaction there is a formation of transition state also so based on the number of steps there will be number of transition state also so number of steps is equivalent to number of transition states so if a reaction takes place in two steps then it will be having two transition states so number of intermediates is equal to number of steps minus 1 so that is how many intermediates will be available so number of intermediate is equal to number of steps minus 1 so here you can see there are two steps and there is only one intermediate that is number of intermediates is equal to number of steps in the organic reaction minus 1 so that is less than the one less than the number of steps and number of transition state is equal to the number of steps in the organic reaction so this is how the organic reaction transition states and intermediates are represented here you can see two images which will gives you clear idea about how the energy diagram discuss or describes about the energy high energy transition states and intermediates here you can see the methyl chloride is being attacked by hydroxide ion reaction coordinate diagram is nothing but the diagram in which we are going to take reaction progress in the x axis whereas energy in the y axis the diagram will be like this and this represents the reactant and this represents the product and the highest possible energy state is called transition state so here in this animated image you can see how the uh, reaction is taking place how transition states are formed and uh, the product so among all the three transition states are always highest in energy and the products are having least energy and hence they are highly stable so here you can see the diagram of same reaction coordinate diagram of non concerted reaction or reaction taking place in two steps here also we are going to consider the uh, reaction progress in x axis and energy in the y axis here you can see the decomposition of tertiary butyl chloride which leads to the formation of first transition state and then the carbocation intermediate here so here you can see the reactant tertiary butyl chloride which starts decomposing is the first transition state so, so this is the transition state 1 and from that it leads to the formation of carbocation tertiary butyl carbocation that is the intermediate formed here and from the carbocation intermediate it attaches with the 
hydroxide available in the nearby environment and this state is called transition state 2. Finally, it leads to the formation of tertiary butanol and this is the product. So, here you can see, so among all the species, transition states are highest in energy. And in this first transition state or transition state 1 is having more energy and this transition state formation determines the rate of the reaction since it is the highest energy possible state and it determines the rate, deter uh, rate of the reaction. And intermediate is somewhat lesser energy compared to transition state and hence they are less stable. Transition states are purely unstable and carbocation or intermediate formed or least stable and it leads to the formation of highly stable products with very less energy. So, you can see the energy reference in the y axis reactants are having more energy compared to products and intermediates are having less energy compared to transition states. So, this is how an organic reaction takes place and leads to the formation of product. So, in general it is concluded that an organic reaction is nothing but breaking of bonds in the substrate and formation of bonds in the product which takes place via transition states and intermediates in sequence of steps. It may be one step or multiple steps. So, these sequence of simple steps which describe the product formation from substrate is called organic reaction mechanism. So, here you came to the conclusion that the organic reaction involves so many things. So, what are the things what we have seen so far is, so organic reaction does involve. So, from the discussion so far, organic reaction involves, first thing is electronic displacement in the bonds. So, the bonds are being displaced, not completely transferred. The electrons are displaced in the bonds. Next one is breaking of the bonds. So, the bonds which are present are being broken depending upon the nature of the bond and strength of the bond. And the energy changes during the course of the reaction. So, then formation of new bonds. So, the olden or already existing covalent bonds are broken and new bonds are formed. So, how they are formed and what is the nature and all and nature of the attacking agent. So, whether it is positively charged or negatively charged, they are inorganic or organic, light, heat, etc. So, in other videos, we are going to discuss all these factors in detail and I am sure you will learn the things beautifully without any struggle. Thank you so much.